What's up everyone, I'm Chad with Rescued Wood Company. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Metabo 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. This video will be an in-depth review. I'll do some practice cuts, go through the general setup, and see what kind of features it has. sliding rail system is really smooth. It only requires me to use one finger and allows you to have the miter saw pushed up all the way back against your drywall. There's no rails sliding back behind the miter saw and it really does save a lot of space. So after reading the manual, I found that there's a little blade guard back here that you have to cut on the very first time using it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so right here, this blade guard has to be cut the very first time using it. And I read that in the manual. Holder A has a guard into which a groove must be cut when using the tool for the first time. the saw for a few weeks now and I'm really happy with how it's performing. Everything is really square right out of the box and everything is just really easy to use. To control the bevel, you just loosen the knob here in the back and if you want it to bevel all the way to the left, you have to actually take off the upper fence. It's really easy to do. Just pull out the clamp, loosen this one knob here, the fence slides out. Now you have your full bevel all the way, I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, it stops at 45 degrees. That's the cutoff point right now, so. Check your knob. Now it's locked in at zero, not going anywhere. Really easy to put the fence back on, just slide it on. Tighten the knob. And it's good to go. And it has an alignment system where you do not have to readjust the fence for 90 degrees every time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What this does is if you press zero, it will zero out on whatever surface you put it on. So now I have it zeroed out on the base here of the miter saw. So if I go ahead and flip it onto the wall here, now I went ahead and flipped it over and it's given me a 90.1, which is perfectly square. I don't need to worry about adjusting that at all. It's also a really nice system for adjusting the angle of the cut. All you have to do is loosen the knob, pull up the finger trigger, and slide left or slide right. It goes all the way left to 45 degrees, and it goes all the way right to 55 degrees. Another really cool feature with the finger trigger is if you just lift it up, you have full range of motion and you can stop anywhere you want. So you could stop at like three degrees, for example, or 14 degrees. But if you let go of the trigger, it will still allow you to slide as long as this is unlocked and it will lock in for you. So right there, it locked in for me at zero, right? Because my finger's off the trigger. If my finger's on the trigger, it won't do that. Take it off, it still allows me to slide it. It'll lock in for me at zero. So that'll give me a perfect 90 degree angle. Another really cool feature is this clamp. Because of the pattern here, all you have to do is slide it into a hole. There's no knob on the back that you have to tighten and then secure your piece down with the hand knob here. This is a two by 11 piece of pine. Let's go ahead and cut it and see how the saw performs.
this saw for $299 at Lowe's. It's an amazing saw. I would recommend it to anyone in the woodworking industry. I'm really happy with it. I expect to keep this saw for many years to come. Thanks for watching so much. I really hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe.